Any friend of it is an enemy of mine. And I won't let either of you consume another world. What's going on? Who was that? That skin! And those horns! Really hate to do this, but... One has to do what one has to do. We've obtained new intel on the latest adventure in the Star Ocean Saga. In the far reaches of space, Leticia, Raymond, and their friends fight to save the kingdom of Asterius from the encroaching threat of the Vale Empire. Along their journey, the party repeatedly crosses paths with a faction known as the Varians. Begging your pardon, but where are you off to? Did Theo really say something about Veer? If you recognize Duma, then you must not be from this planet. These Varians possess advanced technology and seem to be involved with the Empire in some capacity. We are the ones who should be utilizing the powers of that Duma. Finally, he gets it. Pretty slow on the uptake, aren't you? You will have to contend with me. Multiple enemies detected. During their power struggle with the Varians over Duma, Raymond and the others meet a race of beings that have lived on Astra 4 since time immemorial. Their leader is Malkia Trathen. What more motivation can one need than to fight against evil itself? She and Midas have quite the history. Malkia has also known Leticia and Albert since they were young, so she gladly lends them her aid. You will not lay another finger on the Trathen people! Malkia fights using a unique melee style. The Trathen people have shape-shifting, malleable bodies, allowing Malkia to whip enemies with her limbs. She can even learn a special move to share her HP with allies. The conflict with the Virians will shake the planet of Aster IV to its core. Where will the skirmish eventually lead? Whatever the outcome, it will certainly be a battle for the ages. I will not go as easy on you. Do your worst. Each playable character can be customized extensively. Gain enough experience and your characters will level up, granting them SP. Use SP to strengthen a variety of skills at your disposal. Or learn entirely new abilities from the skill tree. Combat skills offer a variety of specialized attacks. Away with you! You'll not be the last! Active skills allow you to gain the upper hand in battle. Destroy. Passive skills provide a host of supportive boons. Mix and match to create your own unique fighting style. Players can gain an advantage in combat by training Duma. Learn skills or strengthen existing ones by using BP accumulated by collecting gems. Improving this mysterious ally will be a great help on your journey. These are not the limits of Duma's capabilities, however. It also has access to powerful skills through vatting. These are special techniques unique to each character. The vatting gauge will fill up as you perform actions in battle. Once it reaches its max, you can unleash devastating abilities. Carefully utilize your character's powerful offensive and recovery expertise to turn the tide of battle. Players can also activate a barrier that nullifies incoming attacks by holding the VA button during combat. 
This barrier can even repel attacks and make enemies flinch. Duma can also be detached from the player character, allowing it to provide various status-enhancing effects to the whole party. This condition is called Estuary Cage. Duma's Estuary Cage increases allies' defenses, reducing the damage they receive. However, the party cannot use VA or Vatting while the Estuary Cage is in effect, nor will the VA gauge accumulate. Though situational, this defensive measure does have its uses. Princess Leticia is This concludes our report on all currently accurate intel. But there is more to the Divine Force than the heat of battle. Info on weapon and armor crafting through item creation, minigames, and more marvels of the universe is on the horizon. I'll give you a lesson in the alchemy secrets of the Vineyard family. In our next report, we'll take a closer look at all of these activities and more. You'll hear from us again as more intel comes in. Over and out.